Wayne Rooney has provided a harsh assessment of Manchester United's team, saying most of them ought to be let go by the organization. The all-time top scorer for United was speaking following their Wednesday night 3-2 triumph over Newcastle. The season has been incredibly disappointing, despite the happy outcome of their final game at Old Trafford this year. Supporters are hoping for an FA Cup upset against rivals Man City to cap out the year on a high note. Speaking on Sky Sports, Rooney gave a critical evaluation of United's current roster that seemed to take host David Jones off guard. You have to build the team around Bruno, Rooney remarked. He is a quality player with a fight, and I believe that all the other players get rid of them after that. Rooney clarified when horrified Jones questioned him about his remarks, saying, I think you keep the young players, and you keep Bruno. I believe there needs to be a significant purge. It must be. It won't happen in a year, but I believe it will happen in the upcoming years. Subsequently, Jones questioned Rooney about his intention to retain players such as Andre Onana, Diogo Dalit, and Harry Maguire. I think he, Onana, has had a shaky start but has got better and better over the year. Rooney shot back. I think Dalit has performed admirably, but Maguire has had a patchy season. They need superior players in order to compete in this league. Please understand that these players are skilled athletes. But they need superior players if they want to compete with Man City, Liverpool, and Arsenal. After that, Rooney was asked about his feelings towards Marcus Rashford, his former teammate who has drastically fallen out of favor this season, scoring just eight goals this term as opposed to 30 last year. We all know Marcus has the ability to play at the highest level and we haven't seen it. He remarked that I'm simply wondering if Marcus should move on to play somewhere else. I believe that's a question he needs to ask himself. I want him to stay at this club and continue setting records. He must put in a lot of effort and focus. Former United teammate Wayne Rooney and another club veteran, Andy Cole, joined Rooney as pundits. Cole, a member of United's 1998-1999 treble winning squad, predicted that United would not catch up to Manchester City very quickly. For myself, the gap won't be closing in the next couple of years, he stated. The difference between Manchester United and Man City right now tells you everything. You will never be able to close that distance in two years. Man City hopes to get back on track the following year. That will require time. It's a construction process that can take four or five years. Well, you look at Man City when their new owners came in, it took them 15 years to win the Champions League. Wayne Rooney continued. You hope not, but that's possibly what you could be looking at. At the end of the current campaign, Rafael Verona has already declared his intention to leave Manchester United. However, Keane stated that it could be challenging for the Red Devils to move other players who command high salaries. We talk about moving players on but it's difficult to move on without players. He remarked out a few of the gamers here are quite wealthy, and some of them won't move until they receive their money. Many of the participants have received opportunities. Many people are concerned that these players are hurting themselves all the time, yet being hurt all the time makes you useless to everyone. All right, every team has injuries. However, you can't count on these guys to play for Manchester United every week if they're constantly hurt. The conversation then turned to Anthony Marshall, who hasn't played since December and appears to be leaving with international teammate Verena this summer. Marshall, I played with him, he's a really great guy, declared Rooney. Where has he gone, though? Why is he acting like this? Is he hurt? Well, at least his contract is up, Keane retorted. That's a benefit, so you can go on. However, the truth is that it will be quite difficult.